dispersion, or light is made up of colors. Here we have a prism, glass or plastic prism, and we have an incident light beam, which is white. Basically, it's just normal light because light is white. As it enters the first surface here, it refracts, and you can see the line going through here, but something else interesting is happening here. The colors are starting to show. Then over here, the direction of the light bends again, so it refracts twice. Now, why did the colors come out here? Well, the index of refraction is wavelength dependent. So, for different wavelengths, for example, as the wavelengths increase, n will decrease. So, there's less deflection from the normal line to the surface. This color separation is called dispersion. So, if, light, if white light was just white light, you would just see a pattern like this. It would hit the prism, it would refract once, then it would refract again. But what's happening is light is made up of different wavelengths or different colors. Each piece will have a different refracted angle, and this gives us this beautiful looking separation of colors on the other side of the prism. Here's a chart that shows the refractive index, or n, versus the wavelength of incident light in, my, in uh, micrometers, micrometers, uh, for different substances. For example, here's fluoride crown glass, borosilicate crown glass, etc. Different types of glass. So you can see, depending on the wavelength of the light, you get a curve here. The smaller the wavelength, the greater the index of refraction. Now, it has more of an impact, let's say, look at here, flint goes straight, then it peaks up. Lanthanum down here, it's probably peaked somewhere up here. So the smaller the wavelength, the greater refractive index. In addition to a prism, which has this double refraction effect, which causes dispersion, which basically breaks the white light down into its many colors, we can also have a raindrop do the same thing. So this little blue bubble is a raindrop. We have light coming from the sun. It refracts once, and you can see the colors starting to separate here. It then refracts again, bounces off the raindrop here, get internal reflection, bounces here, refracts, spreads the colors out more, and you get enough of these raindrops, like millions and millions and billions of them, and you have a rainbow. Here's a little case where you're just shooting water into the air from a fountain or a sprinkler, and you can see the rainbow forming right there. So the droplets of water in the air act as prisms. This now sums up what Newton's optics explain, where we treat light as a particle. The next section will focus on light's wave behavior.